Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Digixtra Shortest Reach 2. So given an undirected graph and a starting node, determine the lengths of all the possible uh, shorter spots from the starting node to all the other nodes in the graph. So if a node is unreachable, uh, its distance is uh, minus 1, nodes will be numbered consecutively from uh, 1 to n and the edges will be having uh, varying distances or lengths. For example, considering the following graphs of five nodes. So here we have the five nodes and one is the starting node that is represented by S. So phi is not reachable, so it will be minus one. Uh, from the starting node, we have to figure out uh, how much distance it will take to reach the other nodes. So if you consider here, the shortest path to two is uh, distance phi. The shortest path for uh, three, uh, we have to consider uh, two ways. One, that is distance of 15. And the other one is 5 plus 6 is 11, the distance of 11, if you go like an indirect uh, route. So the shortest path for 3 is uh, 11. So that will be specified uh, here. Choose the shortest path 11. So for 1 to 4, we can have like 17. But uh, here, if you consider the previous 11 and uh, add the 2 here, the total distance will be 13. So here you can extend it like 1, 2, 3, 4 in order to reach the final destination that is 4. So the total distance is 13 uh, in order to reach 4. There is no root to 5 so the distance will be minus 1. So the total distance is here they have mentioned. This is the result we have to return from the starting node how much distance it takes to reach the other nodes. That is the objective and we can solve this using Digixtra algorithm. So let's see the constraints. Here we have like 10 test cases and uh, the number of nodes can be 3000 and uh, the number of edges can be n cross n minus 1 divided by 2. That is like the uh, sum of n minus uh, 1 numbers. I think that is so many number of edges. We have to solve this problem in an optimal way. Uh, that's why we have to implement uh, heap and uh, dictionary in order to solve this problem because um, you will be getting a time limit if you don't uh, solve it optimally for uh, some test cases. Be aware of that. Other than that, you can also solve it in like a normal way what we have done it before. But uh, let's solve this in an optimal way using heaps and uh, um, some simple conditions. Here for an example, uh, we have like uh, four nodes and four edges. So one is the starting node. Uh, for 2, this is, there is only one edge, so 24. So for 3, it will be 3 only. And for uh, 4, you can go via 3. So the total will be 15. So 24, 3 and 15. That's how we have to calculate. We just uh, give you the overall shortest distance available uh, to all the other nodes. That is the purpose of Digixtra. Now we have seen the examples. Let's uh, dive into the solution and solve this problem. So before doing that, we have to import uh, two more modules. First is uh, heap queue. So from heap queue, import heap push and uh, heap pop. So this is for uh, utilizing the data structure of heap. So it will uh, decrease our uh, runtime. And from collections import default dig. So uh, this is like a normal uh, dictionary. Uh, the usage of uh, default dig is so if you try to access or modify any missing key that is not at all uh, created means it will assign some default value to it. So by default I think it's zero. So that is the purpose of default dict. It is uh, useful and uh, it will reduce some of our code. That's why that is the only usage. Otherwise, the functionalities will be uh, similar to dictionary. Now let's solve this function. First, we have to create the dictionary. So graph equals default default dict of a list. I'm going to store the uh, list like key will be normal uh, integer and uh, the values will be a list of uh, tuples that's why and we are going to store uh, the corresponding adjacency uh, 
uh, list with the corresponding weights that's why i'm going for the dictionary or else uh, we would have uh, gone for uh, normal adjacency list itself or uh, matrix now for x comma y these are the um, nodes that is pointing to and uh, w is the weights in edges dot items okay now this will iterate all the three values now in the graph we are going to add graph of x dot append uh, tuple w comma y so w is the weight and y is the destination node similarly we have to do the same thing because this is a bidirectional graph or undirected graph okay we can say as a undirected graph now here graph of y dot append w comma x so initialization of a graph is completed initialization of adjacency list okay now we have to do few more uh, initializations uh, one is distance distance equals sys dot max size multiplies n plus one again this is a one based indexing that's why i am adding one here and the other one is visited so these are the default variables we are initializing for most of the graph problems so this will be also n plus one so the basic initialization has been done initialize for starting node so for the starting node uh, uh, to reach the starting node the distance is zero so we will update the distance distance of s equals zero sorry zero and uh, i'm going to create a heap so i'll create a min heap equals a list of tuple distance of s comma s so distance of s is zero so you can directly assign as zero also it doesn't uh, both are both are same so you can directly assign zero also this is the starting node we are having so this is the min heap um usually we will be using uh, dq or some other kind of queue but uh, min heap performs a better for this problem it also considers as a priority queue so it will decrease our uh, time complexity now let's go for the main logic main logic while min heap until we have elements in the min heap the while loop continues now first we will uh, pop the available uh, element from the main heap so d comma u d is the distance and uh, u is the source node so here heap pop of main heap now if visited of u equals true then continue we don't need that node if it's already visited after that if it is not visited we will say visited of u equals true you can also add this into like a else uh, condition but that's fine you can just add it here usually if uh, you say continue means it will just go to the starting point of the loop now we have updated uh, update the node as visited update node as visited so we will traverse through the adjacent nodes of u so for that for w comma v we have already done like this so for w comma v in graph of u if visited of uh, v equals false and uh, distance of v greater than greater than distance of u 
plus w so this is the condition first we are checking whether the node is uh, not visited and afterwards we are uh, checking for the distance let's consider v as uh, 4 and uh, u as uh, 3 previously the distance of v is uh, 20 so uh, here we'll be having 20 and uh, distance of u that is uh, u is 3 so the distance of uh, reaching u from uh, 1 is 3 so 3 plus uh, the weight the current weight so 3 plus uh, 12 is uh, 15 so if it satisfies the condition we will update the distance of v so we will just update distance of v equals distance of u plus w so uh, previously it was like uh, 20 currently we are just updating into 15 so it will have like a minimum distance and afterwards we'll be having heap push of mean heap comma again a tuple distance of v comma v so this is for the next iteration we'll be uh, appending the node so this update the queue this is priority queue priority queue and this will be update the minimum distance so if everything is done so the whole process is done means we have to remove few things first if you see the result we have to delete the starting node so that will be delete of uh, distance of yes and after that uh, we have created the distance as one based indexing so we have to delete the uh, zeroth index so delete distance of zero both nodes has been deleted and uh, one more thing we have to do that is we are initializing the distance as sys dot max size so they already mentioned if the node is not reachable we have to update it as minus one so for that we have to create uh, another loop update update unreachable nodes as minus one so for i in range of len of distance if distance of i equals sys dot max size then distance of i equals minus one finally we will return distance so this is the updation we have done so this will be delete unnecessary index in distance okay that's pretty much done this is the whole logic of the problem because of this uh, heap pop or uh, because of using this priority uh, queue uh, we are uh, decreasing uh, some time limit because uh, whenever you are uh, using this heap pop it will take uh, constant time and whenever you are doing this heap push it will take logarithmic time so that's why we are using or uh, taking advantage of this heap data structure or else you have to manually go through all the vertex and uh, pick up the smallest uh, distance that will take uh, order of uh, n but this is like a logarithmic uh, time that is the advantage let's run it once to check whether it is working or not okay so this we have to remove the semicolon now let's try it again again i am facing some error okay apart from this uh, we have to change few things in the main function because um, the edges will have some kind of uh, duplicates so currently it's just uh, taking it as a list so we have to convert this also like a dictionary uh, so we can now uh, process this now here in the main function we have to convert this into dict I'm just uh, initializing a dictionary 
now instead of doing like this we'll be uh, taking the input as u comma v comma w equals map of n comma input dot r strip r strip dot split so this will split the corresponding uh, input values like here and after that we will add it to the edges uh, dictionary so if u comma v in edges then edges of u comma v equals minimum of edges of u and v or w so i'm just storing uh, whichever is the minimum weight because uh, there are like so many duplicates when i tried uh, the first time uh, i have faced this issue that's why i had to touch this uh, main function even in the next problem uh, we have the similar issue so if it is not in the edges means we will have uh, okay other than that uh, we have uh, another uh, combination that is v comma u in edges then again we have to do the same instead of uh, u comma v we'll be using uh, v comma u now that's done else we have to add the edges so edges of u comma v equals w so that's pretty much it so this is the process we you have to do and after that you can uh, iterate through this uh, edges dot items uh, to get these values let's run the code once yeah now it is working fine so if you didn't uh, do this or uh, change the modification in the main uh, you will be definitely facing an issue because of uh, duplicate edges like there will be a uh, n cross n minus 1 uh, uh, edges possible in the test case so because of that uh, you will be facing an issue so try to remember that and uh, i already explained the example like how it works uh, how it like computes the um, uh, minimum distance it will do this for all the other uh, nodes that's why we are having a loop here to go through all the um, uh, vertex now let's submit the code okay still i'm facing a time limit exceed okay i am facing this issue because of uh, i'm using a uh, pypy3 let's move to python3 i'm just using the same code just the interpreter is different now again submit the code yeah now you can see uh, it passed the test case it just because of the interpreter because uh, they have uh, set some uh, time limit for uh, each interpreter that's why in some interpreter it's uh, not working like if you exceed the time limit for one or two test cases means try to uh, use the other one because uh, for both uh, python 2 or python 3 you have uh, pypy sometimes uh, most of the times pypy is faster compared to python 3 but you have to check this out this is some of the things uh, or uh, bug that uh, hacker rank have uh, they have to set the time constraints uh, very well because we are doing everything in optimal way because this is a dictionary and uh, we are using a priority queue everything is uh, in an optimal way uh, they have to modify few things but in python it works fine so that's fine so we have uh, successfully solved the problem if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe the channel for more videos. Stay tuned for the next video.